Hey guys, Jeremy Morgan here, business development engineer with uh, Innovative IDM in the Southeast Houston area. Uh, today's topic of discussion is going to be how to size a variable frequency drive for an AC motor. So what we're going to do is we're going to understand what a motor nameplate is telling us, understand the application, and sizing the variable frequency drive accordingly based on the motor and the application. Check it out. So I had a request uh, fairly recently from a uh, plant manager in which he wanted uh, a Yuskawa G8800 variable frequency drive. Uh, so here you see the application requirements listed. So I'll just read it to you real quick. Uh, so a plant manager needs a 460 volt AC three phase Yuskawa G8800 variable frequency drive to control a five horsepower AC induction motor, which constantly runs a small belt conveyor that is used to carry plastic pellets from one location to the other. The drive will be in a cabinet in which the worst case ambient temperature can reach up to uh, 50 degrees Celsius or 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, next, he wants to be able to make the VFD program changes through his cell phone. And then lastly, he's also provided uh, motor nameplate information for me to go with. So uh, let me go over my step-by-step -step process as to how I determined um, the right drive for this application. Okay, so let's take a look at our motor nameplate information, shall we? Uh, we have a little Bowder Alliance motor. I actually wrote down the information that you'll need to know uh, from this nameplate whenever it comes to size of your drive. First, the FLA, or the full load amps. Full load amps tells you the rated current required to run the motor at the rated speed and at the rated horsepower load. In this case, 6.7. Okay, voltage input. 460, three phase, very important as well. Then we have a horsepower rating of five, then RPM of 1750. So, Scala has a 240 volt uh, drive class and also a 480 volt drive class. This is gonna fall on a 480 volt drive class, okay? So let's move on to the next. So next is the load profile, okay? Uh, in this case, this motor is going to be constantly running a small belt conveyor. So that tells me this can be a constant torque, heavy duty application. Uh, the scowl has a normal duty and a heavy duty category. Um, heavy duty is mainly for constant torque needs. Normal duty is mainly for variable torque needs. Okay, in this case, it's going to be heavy duty. Next, the drive will be in a cabinet in which the worst ambient temperature is 50 degrees C or 122 degrees Fahrenheit. The G8800s can operate in temperatures up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit in an IP20 uh, chassis, which is standard. Then he says he wants the drive to be able to uh, uh, be reprogrammed out in the field through a cell phone, essentially. So the G8800s come with a uh, default program. However, there is something called Drivers and Mobile that you can download to your phone in which you can make program changes from your phone and upload them to your drive via Bluetooth or USB, okay? So based on all of this information, the drive that I chose was a GA80U4012ABM, okay? We got that order for the customer, got it installed, customer was happy, everything's good, thank you. So if you take all of that good information and applied it uh, whenever you're sizing a variable frequency drive or I'm sizing a variable frequency drive for you, you're just checking me to make sure that it's right, then good chance you're going to have the right drive for the right application and the right motor. Right? Now there could be external pieces of the drive that you have to uh, add as well. You may need uh, a line reactor to handle any uh, harmonics. You may need a braking resistor if you need to handle any regen. Um, now, we as a company are a local distributor for uh, Yaskawa's uh, low voltage and medium voltage fre uh, variable frequency drives. We are actually the largest distributor for their product here in the state of Texas. Uh, Yaskawa is actually the largest uh, manufacturer in the world for uh, low voltage and medium voltage uh, variable frequency drives. So, if you want to know more about uh, Iskawa products, or if you want to know more on, on variable frequency drives in general, uh, give me a shout. 
Uh, my name is Jeremy Morgan. Uh, email address is jeremy.morgan at iidm.com. Telephone number 713-502-7418. And until next time, you guys take care.